I think how I came to this issue is uh, my wife and I had two kids. And what we discovered is kids are expensive. And thankfully, both my wife and I do pretty well. We make some money. Uh, and we're able to, to take care of our little uh, lovelies. Um, <laughs> but uh, my wife's salary basically goes to pay for a nanny. And if you don't have, A, if you're not married and don't have that opportunity, and B, if you don't have enough money, you know, the stress that we put on uh, parents and families is am amazing in the society. And our government really needs to think, rethink about that. Because I, I am a pro-life Republican. I believe strongly in families. I believe strongly in having more children. I think that we, we have a, a, a perilously low birth rate, which is why we have so many immigrants in this country. Uh, and, you know, because we need the workers. And uh, if we want to think holistically about all of these issues, and I am not the expert that these folks are, I'm just from my own personal experience and from a political perspective, um, you know, we've got to rethink how we take care of kids in this family, in this, in this, in this country. And, um, you know, the idea that uh, businesses, as McKinney pointed out, are against finding some sort of cooperative relationship, I don't think is right. Because they want healthy workers. They want healthy families. They don't want parents worried so much about their kids that they're not productive. And they also don't want, uh, you know, they don't want to have to retrain new employees all the time and fire all these employees who come in and, and, and can't come in because they have sick kids. And I also think that as we grow older and we worry more about our adult, our, 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 the grandparents and how do we take care of them, um, you know, we have to think more holistically. Are we a pro-family government or not? And can we rethink how we address family structure in this country? Because there's no doubt in my mind that families are really, really under stress. And if you, if you look at I mean, the, the, the State of the Union tonight, they're going to talk a lot about, I think the President's going to talk a lot about income inequality. And uh, the Republicans are going to talk a lot about opportunity. Well. And I think Jeb Bush has been talking about trying to social mobility. Well, nothing gets you stuck more unable to move up if you don't have a stable family life and if you don't have the ability to take care of your children. And uh, I think that that is really the biggest difference between the haves and have-nots is the ability to take care of the kids and make sure that they are going to school, make sure that they're well taken care of, and make sure that they you know, can succeed in life. So I think that as Republicans, you know, talk about these issues, and the other, the other point of this is Republicans are getting clobbered in the female vote. Now, I don't, I don't think that this is just a female issue. I think this is an issue that, and the other thing about men is what they're finding out, a lot more men are staying at home. And they're, they're having a hell of a time finding jobs. So, uh, you know, this is not just a, a, a woman's issue. This is a man and woman's issue. This is a kid's issue. And I think that from a... Uh, uh, from a Republican standpoint, it makes a lot of sense for us to get in the ground floor and start having conversations about how to rejigger our government to make it more family friendly. So that's kind of why I'm here.